Hi, we're going to be doing hydrant. We're going to teach you how to maximize a hydrant properly. Uh, John's going to go over here and explain all the tools that is included in our hydrant bag on both uh, engine 85, ladder 85, and engine tanker 84. All right. First thing you got here is a you got a hydrant wrench. Uh, you can use. You got these two pieces here for what you would unscrew your hydrant with. And also, you would open up your hydrant with. This hydrant, this hydrant wrench here is a standard hydrant wrench. Um, some some cities have the star octagon shape or the star shape on top. Um, so it just depends on which hydrant you you get. And this will also work as a spanner wrench for small or large size hose. And here, it's just a different type of hydrant wrench, just adjustable. And then you also have the spanner notches there. Um, we carry a rubber mallet in our bag for jarring any uh, rusted together threads or any threads that may not come undone. Uh, we carry a gate valve for the two and a half inch connection here, which you could also connect two and a half inch hose to. And then we carry a storage to steamer connection. Um, our steamer connection has threads on it, which will thread right into the right into the hydrant. And then most of our uh, large diameter hose is a storage connection, which would hook right into there. We also have hydrants that have the storage steamer connection. And do we have the uh, storage the storage in there? No, nope. I don't think it's So in that case, it would just be, uh, we could hook our uh, large diameter hose straight to the hydrant because it does have the uh, storage connection on it. John's going to put the two and a half inch gate valve on there. To properly maximize a hydrant, you should put the gate valve on the side of it. Um, if you would need to use it and you were, you were filling a, a fire engine up with water, you'd have to shut the, shut the hydrant completely down to put this gate valve back on it. So this way now it's on there. That's, that's a proper way to do it. That way if the water's coming out, you don't have to shut down the hydrant to put the gate valve back on it. To and you want to keep that in closed position, initially. And then before you hook this up to the fire hydrant, John's going to go ahead and crack it to get all the, you know, the rusty water or any rocks that may have gotten into the, into the fire hydrant. Um, some people can mess with the fire hydrant and put pop cans or, you know, wrappers or anything like that if they were to open the caps on, on themselves. So what John does is he just gets the water out so that way none of that is going into the fire truck. So the water's running clear. So at that point he'll shut the hydrant back off. We'll hook our large diameter hose up to the front there. John will turn the hydrant back on and we'll fill the fire truck up with water.